I have known is LD from the third Friday. We come to the third Friday weekly outlook. In this video, I'll be analyzing major forex pairs, cryptocurrency, SP, and DXY, the yes, general index. This video is going to be very interesting as there are some big moves ready to take off. We at the South Friday team hope our forecast is helping you in having an edge over the market. And for all who are asking us for our course, the good news is the short trader course will be released soon. It will fast start your knowledge, your learning, and your career in trading. We will make sure to give you an edge over the market. You will be able to read and forecast anything has a start. The course will be called the short trader fast start. Course. More detail will be coming soon in the next video. Let's get started. And today I decided to start with the USD GPY. This was my top pick chart of the week from the last week. If you go to my YouTube channel and look for it, you will see how did you forecast this. So we were here, we said we are coming down. Once we come to this stage, we will watch it closely here. There is possibility for this if they're not dropping to turn up from here. But we said we do expect them to break this and we are continuing down. What's happened? This, let me show you an example when we posted on our trading view. All right guys, this forecast was So this podcast was before the move even happened. Let's see what happens after. And here we go, guys, exactly as we expected. Okay, we do still expect more to come to the downside. But what's now? We can also have some sort of correction at this point and then continuing down. So for now, we're only looking downside on the USD GPY. If you want to see the long term on this pair, just go to our video and watch USDGPY, the top chart of the week. Top pick chart of the week. I hope you enjoyed that. You will have an overview for the long term of this pair. So as you saw, that thing played out exactly as you expected. And also we did put, see that not, if we break here, then we are not seller and we never broke there. Okay, we was here. It's a seller here and we will knowledge there. Let's go back to our forecast. So guys, this is what was there in the video. So let's move on to DXY, US dollar index. So hey guys, we did expect that up move from the top there in our previous forecast. And I really didn't expect them to come all the way here. Okay, I said, keep your eyes from this side. Once we reach here, we can continue up. But we do understand what this sometimes has happened. You know? For now, all we see is we are going up. And what's the second forecast for this? We can do some correction. If we see a coming correction, we expect one more down. But the big trend to the upside, remember that, guys, okay? Let me show you why I'm saying this as well. Just to say, guys, let's find the long term setup. I did post up from like two years before on my trading view account and it's still playing up. Let me just show you why. Holy summary. Let 
ていう感じ。So, this was our forecast from back two years before, okay, guys? From around 6 February 2019, maybe only a couple months. Let's see what happens after we did forecast that. All right, guys, we did doing exactly what we said. We went up. We do understand these things, okay? This correction, we do understand when they happen, but this is just an overview for the long term. So now we're expecting continuation to the upside. All right, then. Oh, I think we're going to break up. So hopefully let's watch out this one and we'll update it if we see any change in the structure. As all of you know, that structure changes from time to time sometimes. Look at that there as well. This is Chinese. Okay. Just to clear the problem. So on this pair as well, you can expect, because I'm not covering it today in the video, but just give you an idea about it, expecting up move. Okay, if you find any 10, any buy setup, buy this one too, and buy this. And stop loss below the bottom. And buy this to go up. We can see at the bottom. We can see this full structure to go up. Correction structure. Uh, let's move on and continue with our forecast. Let's move to Euro USD. Guys, Euro USD still doing the same as well. So this is was our forecast. From here, we said we are coming here and we will watch this area closely. Let's see what they do right here. See, we break here, follow the drawing of the up move. So we did, we do understand. We said if it's a breaker and we do expect them to break it, we do understand what's happening. What do we expect now? We can see up a down move coming from this place. Okay. We can expect a down move coming down and even to break all this. What's the other scenario? They go up here and they come at least here and then continue up if this is the beginning of the up move because as we said too we have the long term forecast for this pair as well on our youtube channel so please go and check it to have understand of the long term setup on this we did expect this up move exactly from our area guys and we said you're going up on the other video on the long term okay guys so what's now now we do expect this coming here even more down, and then we're going up. So, yes, here. So, these two things we either coming here and going back up, or we are coming back down here. And from here, we'll start looking for the upside move. If we break within this, down, then we'll write correction and continue to drop down further. But I can see them turning up from here. Or either a big correction or a absolutely changing direction to the upside. So full detail, just check the video on your VSD. I'll add it to this video at the end of it, at the top. Right corner. Let's move on. So let's move to the Aussie. So Aussie dollar. We can see a down move coming after this correction finish. Let's go that towards the lady. So guys, we the dropping now from here. If you find sell set up, sell it. If you see them corrected, we are going one more up. And then 
We are dropping one more down to this place. Around some more 63. We will be updating this on the way it goes, you know, because for the next week, pretty sure they are dropping. So find sell setup, sell setup. I'm not interested the buy at the, at the meantime. Or if you see that correction, you can buy that last move up and we'll see what happens from there. And we'll be updating this next week. We'll be somewhere here. If we're going down. Let's move on to the pond USD. Oh, this is magic. Okay, guys. This is doing something exactly as we said and we expect it and this now is very interesting pair okay guys so what's now now we can see this move coming up here so focus on the up move what's next so then we will see if this is all a correction and we are dropping one more time here and this is very high very likely to happen guys so the most likely things to see next week is dropping down. Okay, guys. But what if they come up and we didn't do that? If you once we break this top, guys. Okay, then you need to follow up with this structure one, two, and we're going up only. So the the move we're expecting on longer term frame is to the upside. Okay, we have to go break this top. So I can see this is all correction, and from my experience. I can see this correction is confirming like doing like this. Okay, guys. So A, B, and C here. So let's wait for the down move on Pond USD for next week. And remember, if we break this area, if we break one, three, two, two, four, we are then changing, and that's mean. The correction is ended and this was contracting flat here yeah, like this and this is the bottom and we are going up we're just waiting another move down and we're continuing up so at this day some i really do expect drop or correction big correction here and then we go up okay guys but i think if they're going up they'll no stop, not respect this area, so I will spike out of it and then come back. So let's see, let's focus now on this down move because it's most likely to happen. Let's move on to Pond K, guys. This is doing exactly as you said as well, guys. Watch from the bottom to the top. If you watch our previous video, you will not start. Okay, guys, it was here exactly. See this labeling? It was there even before this move is happened, guys. Okay. So now what are we expecting? Correction and continuing up. Or the small correction could be small correction and continuing up. I don't see any drop on this now. And the bigger direction, guys, is to the downside on this one. Okay, we can see this is coming. This is all is correction, okay? And then we're dropping after that. But let's focus now because this will take a while to get there. So let's focus on the up move. It's coming. So if you're following us, you could buy this from the bottom because we did forecast this right here. And we said buy the number two and we're going up. Let's move on to US oil. What do we expect on the US oil, guys? We can see an up move coming. Even though we did smash my box, my area, which one is the support area. Okay, guys, I wasn't expecting this to go up from here. But because structurally and the wave labeling, so wave analysis wasn't completed. So we said, by now, at this bottom here, we was ready. And we will watch up here because this could tend to be correction, as we're saying now on the point USD, and then drop. Okay. So we did go that. So now we go 
or five wave down, and we are anticipating up move to start at any time. To kick it. And what's the change, guys? If you're asking, we did break this bottom, and I'm still not changing to the downside because the big move is to the upside. And if I did say in my previous video, if you turn from here, that's mean you're going in correction and dropping one more. If we break it, okay, this doesn't change anything. Then we will go longer wave up. Let me quickly show you. Maybe four hours on this one. Guys, so before I was anticipating this correction, didn't even happen. Let, let's remove this now. Okay, this was when we was it said we will come if we come from here, we are just coming for correction somewhere here and you drop it. If we break this one, we are going up, and this is your up move, guys. So focus on this up move. It's going to happen. Okay, and from here we'll be set. Again. So let's move on to USD again. We did this at the beginning of the video, so let's move on. So we're expecting this up move. After we drop, we still have a lot down to go, guys. This is on for our time frame. Okay, so so we can see the some some sort of correction here and continuing down. Or can you just keep going impulsively down? And they do the correction here. Because there is possibility for this to continue down from here. Or we can up in correction, in big correction. As you see, I did draw it there for you to see. So I'm only seeing down move on the USDGPY for the long term. For the whole 2020, I'm expecting down move on the USD yen pair. Let's move on Euro Pong, guys. This is doing magic for us as well. Okay, guys. We did expect all this move up, and we said keep your eyes in this level. If we break it, we go in the green structure, or we can either drop from here. Okay, guys, uh, we are releasing some course soon. Okay, and you then this course we are showing you our expectation, but this course will teach you how to know if things break out of what you expect and what to expect next, and how to follow up with the structure. Okay. So this is the power of the course, what we will be teaching you. So what's for now? For now, we expect this, this move to come break this bottom and one more move up, guys, before the big drop coming because we're expecting a down move on this pay, on the euro pound pay. So we can see down move coming after this one finished up, after this up move, Still this down move. Up move and that big down move coming. This one, don't worry about it. We'll be do full detail, uh, sorry, video on this one and I'll post it on my YouTube channel on the long term on this one as well. So for now, focus on this little down move and this up move. Once you break this top, exit your buy or pull break even or do whatever. You can manage your trade. And this is another powerful thing we will teach you in the course. I'll help you, I'll make sure you understand where to take profit and where to stop loss and all these things. So you have very high reward and very low risk, hopefully. And this is what we do. Let's move on to DAX, DAX German theory. All right, guys. On the DAX, we can see that structure is finished and we are going to go up. Okay, this structure is finished. So now you then be correction one more down. Or this level, okay. But what's now? What's for you? For you now, look for buy. If you find buy set up, buy it, okay. And probably break even and watch after because this can be the one that will go up, never come down. And I'm I'm seeing this happening as well, okay. So especially because this is like sort of stocks things, so I'll expect this going up and continuing up, okay, guys. So there is up move on this pair. And the second scenario is just correction and drop one more, but don't miss this buy because this be the one that going, or you will have good trade as well here, if this is not the one that we got. So we expecting up move. Let's move on to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, it's also check, I have a full video in detail on this pair. Just check it and you will be amazed. 
Okay, guys. Let me show you as well. Yeah, one thing is on between. Okay, even the last move on Bitcoin mean you up. See, this is the power of wave analysis in combined with idiot wave alone. See, guys, this is what we expect here to go up. In our video, you will see that down move. We did expect this down move from here. Down. Okay, so I'm just showing you here that the up move. It did exactly what we want. Let's go back. It was this up move here. We said up move. And we said this is this correction. Don't be tripped with this. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, guys. So what's now? What now? We either turning now up and we're going, or this is going to tend to be a sideways correction for a while, one more drop, and then continuing up. But for now, we can see up move coming. So we are still bullish on Bitcoin. Let's move on to silver. So guys, uh, this is what I can see on silver happen. Okay, guys? So this is easy for you. Watch this correction and sell that. Last piece down. Okay, we can see this is complex structure. So triple A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, and we are in A, B, C, and then we're going up. One day. So for now, focus on this correct this one, this structure. Okay, sideway. Try to make some profit in it and focus on the downside for now. Because this can be can be big move to the downside as well. If they're not gonna go up. I'm not expecting this now. I'm just saying what's the other possibility for that. Okay, I just see them coming here, coming back here, and then we're going up. Because the other top has to be broken as well. So focus on this one for now, for next week. Aussie. What's about Aussie, guys? So as you say, guys, uh, this is what I can see on gold to happen. Okay, guys? I can see correction and continuation to the upside. I am still bullish on this pair, guys. So let's see that. You see, we did expect this from here. Everyone was panicking when this drop happened. And say, oh, we are going to the... I said, now guys, just buy it. My trader and my previous uh, video as well on YouTube, you can check out my previous outlook. So you can see we did expect this is going impulsively up. What's now? We can see a correction and continuation to the upside, guys. Okay? They don't even have to do that big correction. We can just do small one and continue up. So stick to the upside until we reach the 1800. Let's move on to Euro New Zealand. As you see guys, Euro New Zealand exactly to, we do expect another up move coming to the upside, okay? So we were somewhere here last week and we said if you break, buy. See, we did it. We can turn from here and go down. Um, I can see this correction is finished and we're going up and this is your beginning of one, two, three, four, five. This move really expand, extended more than what I expected. Okay, I expected it to stop somewhere here and then continue down. But we do understand this as well and we know how to follow up with this one. So now we expect some, some sort of correction here. Either this is the beginning of correction or we have one more push breaking this top and then starting the ABC and then continuing up here. And then big move coming to the downside guys. Stick to that down move. Let's move on to Euro yen. So guys, Euro yen, what's that? Fly from here. Okay, we said we are coming down. We did. We went up here, we said sell it. We came down. And what are we expecting now? Continuing down. Okay, guys. I can see this coming somewhere here, coming back up, coming down here, going back up to the trend line and dropping. We are coming in some sort of channeling 
pattern in this pair. Okay, guys, this is what I can see. So for now, stick to the down move. Or you can be patient, watch why this either draw your channel. Okay, guys, and through that channel. Here, no. this should come somewhere here. And stop, the, I'm expecting them to do this. And then the, the drop is to the downside, not to the upside from there. Okay, and after they we will see. We will find by setup, I'll update this once we're ready to go. For now, we are expecting downside on this pair only. What if they changing to the upside? They have to go break this top again. Okay, and then we will see what happens from there. But I'm not seeing this to happen. I'm just seeing and dropping like this. So let's hopefully keep eyes on this. That's right, guys, guys. That's the basic in this one. Let, let me show you. Guys, when you watch my video, always watch it to the end because I always cover some topic somewhere in the middle of the video now. It depends how they come to my mind. That's why I don't say in order. So where is my drawing on this one? What's happening to the drawing? Too? Okay. Okay, guys, from, let this comes first. From somewhere there, we did expect this down move. Everyone will say, oh, no, we should buy, we should buy. Even from here, when they saw this positive move, everyone was complaining, even my own trader, they say, oh, this is his standing, standing from supporters. Say, now, guys, this is going to come down and break this. And I'm still expecting correction and continuing to the downside. You'd expect this exactly from here. I said, this is only correction. Okay, and we did so this, and we sold this. What's now? Now we can see either continuation from here, and then they do the correction somewhere after they confirm the break, or they can just take off from right here and now, and do the, and then drop to the downside. So for now, we can see another down move coming, but guys, let, let me be honest. For now, for me, I'm not interested in the sale anymore. Okay, I am only looking to buy at this time. All right, guys. As I said, they're still hanging within the support zone. Okay, especially of the bottom of my box. So we can either turn up from here. And what the highly expected is that don't move, continue correction and drop. In case they change their mind and they want to go up from here, we know we, we are in the trade. So we will be biased up if we see this standing out to the upside from there. Okay. But we'll make sure we use stop loss for this one. So I'll only focus on the buy for this pair. Okay. If you miss the sell, leave. It. And wait this to finish. And we'll be buying from this place, guys. Okay. I'll be updating this exactly how to buy and where to buy from and what's the price. So only look for buy on the natural gas, but I don't place at this time there. Okay. Less you are unless you let's say you miss this and this goes up. If you come here, break this, then white this pullback and buy. Okay. And we will see after we go because this is will become one, two, three, four, five. And we will see if we have correction and continue and or this is going to do from this. So we do understand this as it goes, yes. So for now, we're saying there is a drop coming. So you understand me clearly. And I'm not interested in the sale. I will be on the buyer on this pay. But no from there. After the Let's move on to Tesla guys. So, guys, Tesla. This one you need to be, you need to understand. Okay. 
we expecting now this is ABC and we're going up one two three four five okay guys but make sure if they can break this button we are not interested in the sale anymore because they are going to stay here for a very long time downside to the downside before they continue up if they will maybe this after the coronavirus if it ends this will start taking off but for now okay you can find a buy setup let, let me go to the one on this one so i help you understand that how you can buy using this oh look at this very slow so now guys what's how to buy in this yep we can see this possible training and doing what we want because we can see this is a correction okay let them come on more down here and why this turn guys once you see this pullback you're still buying because this is your one two and we're going five correction and continuing up okay so if we break this bottom there is no more buy guys i'll then for myself personally i'll leave this pair for for a while and watch how it goes okay because if this is broken for the meantime there is no buy then to break unless you break this top reach this top and break it then we will start looking to buy it. but for now we will watch this buy so we don't miss it and we'll go with it if it didn't go we are taking a lose here okay we will ex accept this lose and we will see what will happen after they because they can keep trolling calm down for a while okay for a couple of weeks months maybe a year so let's see what happens on this one this is your best chance to buy this pair if they go up you're lucky if not then you will manage your trade for me i'll be exiting at this point and i'll wait for an entry of course we will follow up with this structure closely and see how it happens and i'll wait for them if they didn't do like the up move to come here and then we'll be selling every pullback to the downside okay i'll only change my view if you break this top then i'll change my view to the upside or in a big correction so let's move s and p guys SPX. That's how everyone knows it. So yeah, we always. Last week we said we are bullish, and we're still bullish, and we don't see this is a drop or beginning of, as everyone knows, like you know, market is falling and that stuff. Okay, I'm not expecting this, guys. I can see this. We can look, guys. We can turn and go from here, or we can just do that and drop one more to finish this structure only the trade okay so one two three four five down and then we're going up if they doesn't want to do it okay then that's mean we are one two three four five and this is, is your correction so this is your one yeah one two three four five and this is your abc no, you see, so this is your two. There's the one, two, three, four, five again. So that's mean all together will cave us one, two, three, four, five, and we're going up. But to be honest, I can see them coming to break this bottom and then go up. I don't miss any buy because we're too close to this. So maybe you wanna start loading your profile with buying in the stock market. And most of the stock is similar structure, guys. Uh, so I'm not gonna go over all of them. So keep your eyes for the up move on these guys. Because I can see only the up move coming. And again, I'll be give you some tips as I usually do to keep in mind when you're trading and of course i'll be i'd like to thank you for 
everyone who came to this video to watch it. Okay, please subscribe and like it and share it with your friends to help them have an edge in the market. So guys, please remember these tips or you can say rules as well when you're trading. Number one, and it's very important, plan your trade and then trade your plan only guys. So analyze your chart, then trade your analyzing. And of course, number two, don't trade based on someone else's ID. Guys, use them to confirm your own ID only. Number three, I need you to trade like a business. Use risk management, money management, and trade management. And these three is different things, guys. So I'll be teaching this probably for free on the YouTube as well. I don't want you to be a gambler, guys. Trading is not gambling. If you trade with your emotion, you will be lost. If you trade with your thinking, your feeling, you will never make profit. Oh, like, let's say, for example, you say, oh, I, this one is going sharp. This is possibly going up. This is not a trade to trade, guys, okay? Because even if you're going up, this will do that, okay? Then you have trade set up. So you need to find a trade set up. Then you have somewhere to close your, you put stop loss. So if the trade didn't go with you, you know where to exit it and it's not working. Okay. This will be covered all in our course. But for now, let's say this comes up here and here. This is where you can start looking for buy. Okay. Because they will come correction, put breakout, buy the breakout and you stop loss below this spot and expect it to go up. Or if you're trading long term, you don't even need to do all of this, just start buying, okay? Dropping, buy again. Drop more, little bit more, buy again. But I can see the bottom is somewhere there. So let's move on to number four. Guys, if your account is a small, or you only trade short-term trades, then make sure to trade with the trend because you have to make the trend your friend. So I use the direction of the trend, like for our trend or daily trend. Don't trade against uh, even if you have very nice setup on small account because you will blow up. Because always the spike happens with the trend, not against the trend. Okay? Unless you're at the top of it and your strategy say or your analysis say, if you're analyzing the market, your forecast said you are at the top, somewhere at the top of the structure, then you don't trade with the trend. You just wait new trend to, to play out. Uh, number five guys you need to have a, a clear vision okay what's clear vision is long-term vision about your forecast about the direction of the market about your analysis and you need to combine all this together guys this will help you a lot in your trading and will keep your mind in place you will not trade with emotion if you do that if you have long-term vision before you and trade on one hour or five minutes or one minute because it's no issue how you do trade okay the main things guys if you forecasting correctly then you can trade even i like for example myself i sometimes trade on one minute time frame no problem i do understand what happening where to exit and i only trade within my forecast this is how i do so if you have a plan in play you can trade on any time frame even if you don't need time at all just by the tick Let's move on to number six. And I think this is my favorite and I think it's the most important one. And try to understand this. Okay, I know you heard that somewhere else, but this is very important. Just try to take the meaning out of this. Invest in yourself before investing in the market. Okay, you need to learn, research. Take your time in learning, in forecasting, in analyzing, in studying the chart in studying the pattern, in building up your strategy, in building up your plan, you need strategy and the plan and risk management and in your money management. Okay, so this is two different risk management, money management is different. And the trade management is also very important. So try to implement all this stuff first before trade. So invest in yourself, take your time, trading is not running, always there another opportunity in the market. I can never say I miss this because there always another opportunity. Maybe it's something good for you, not bad. Okay, if you miss something because 
you will realize after it's coming back down to where you were expecting it. But you didn't miss it. Otherwise, you had a better entry and a better opportunity. That's the power of patience, guys. You never miss in the trading. The every day, new opportunity, every week. Don't rush. Don't try to be stuck to the chart too much. Okay? You need to have a look at the chart, but not when you're trading. When you're trading, you need to have a clear strategy, clear plan, clear entry and exit, guys. If you don't have this, that's when you're trading with your emotion. Okay, and with your expectation, and this is, is wrong in trading. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for becoming a member of our community. Okay, in here on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook page, you will be learning a lot with us for free, of course. And we will have course. So if you're interested in it, to have experience and fast track your knowledge. Look, guys, one thing to make sure out of us. Learning and having experience and understanding trading and everything, it's all for free. Learning stuff is for free everywhere on YouTube. If you search, you will find that Google, YouTube, or everywhere, okay? Don't be tracked with people telling you spawn resistance and whatever and this bullshit. You can find all this on free on YouTube. You can watch it like, print people putting video, I'll be putting video as well for free like this. Okay guys, but <clears throat> what's the course do for you? The course will fast track your learning progress. Okay, so let's say you will take five years with the course, maybe you take from somewhere from, if, if you have knowledge about the market, from six months to one year, two years <clears throat> at, at max, you will become profitable trader. Okay, you will fast track like, how do you do your strategy? You will have good strategy. So you're not building it from scratch and you know, always having mistake and trying to update and say what's not working, what's working, it always working on it and waste time on this stuff, okay? So training plan, money management, risk management, all this you will have, that's what the course is designed for. To help you short your time, okay? Once you have that time shorter, this will help you a lot. It will make you a trader in no time. So focus on learning, educating yourself. And if you think you, you need some course, but no, if someone tell you, it will give you a course for support resistance and trend line and this stuff, guys, these things, it doesn't, it doesn't work. There's something else behind this. And the, as you see in my, Every video, check my old videos, you see I never used that stuff, okay? Trade is, how do, how do you understand the market? The market is trade in waves, everything trade in waves. So here what you have to master and try to learn. Try to learn how to understand the wave and what's the structure and what's the impulsive move, what's the correction in the uptrend or downtrend. And why is that correction? What do you expect after the correction? Okay, guys, this is focus on this stuff. Come on. And if you find course, tell you, teach you all this, buy it with me or somewhere else anyway. Because investing in yourself, you know, losing it. You're just investing in yourself. And better than putting 10,000 in the market and lose it the next week, now invest in yourself and become professional before you start trading. The trading is very amazing. It's very enjoyable, guys. If you do understand what you're doing, if you're on the right track, okay? So keep that in mind. And try to work harder on yourself. Study more harder. Trading, once you do understand it, is very enjoyable, very profitable, very nice, very nice job. So use it as business, not as campaigning business. Okay, guys, thank you. And nice to see all of you guys here. Please give this video a like, share, and give a cry if you didn't do so. And I'll be posting in the link below all my links to the website, Trading View, Facebook page, Twitter, and etc. All our pages over the internet, social media. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks and bye.